Hello, today we're going to talk about force and extension. This is continuing on from the previous video about the effect of forces on the shape of an object. When we're talking about extension, we're talking about how much an object is, is, is lengthened. Everything we're saying can also apply to when you compress an object, in which case our values for extension are simply negative instead of positive. It gets shorter than its original length rather than longer. Now, force, the force applied to an object and its extension are directly proportional. And so that means that both variables will increase at the same rate. This is an important phrase to use when uh, answering questions about uh, the effect of force on extension of things like springs, um, because it describes their relationship and it's key, it, uh, they are key words um, for GCSE physics and GCSE combined science. Now, the relationship is explained or is described using this formula here, where F equals force. Then you've got K, which is the spring constant. And finally, you have E for extension. Now, the spring constant can also be described as the stiffness of the spring, how difficult it is or how much force is required to make it extend a certain distance um, or for a di certain distance what force is required. Um, in terms of units, extension is measured in metres and you've got, you have to be careful with that because it's very common to see questions involving this equation uh, where the extension is given in millimetres or centimetres and you need to convert to metres um, before your final answer for your answer to, to be in the correct units for the force or the spring constant. Spring constant is measured in newtons per metre and the force predictably is measured in newtons. Okay. What we're going to do next is have a look at this uh, this equation in using an example exemplar question. Um, one thing to bear in mind: this relationship is only true up to a point, and we're going to talk about that more in the next video about the limit of proportionality. So let's have a look at an example example question. When no force is applied, a spring has a length of twenty three point two centimeters. When a lead ball is suspended from it, the spring extends to a length of 25.1 centimetres. If the spring constant, K, equals 60 newtons per metre, calculate the weight of the lead ball. Well, let's have a look through and see which uh, quantities we've been given. Now, we've kind of been given, well, we haven't directly been told the extension, but we have been told two lengths. The initial length, so this is, this is our initial length, and over here, we've been given our final length. Um, it, we've also been given the spring constant over here, 60 newtons per meter. And we've been asked to give the weight. And the weight is the force in this equation. It's the force applied to this spring. So let's have a look. Now, I need to know the extension before I do anything else. In fact, let's make a note of our equation because that's usually a good place to start. So we have Okay, so we know what K is, we can put that in, that's 60. Um, we, know, we don't know what F is, but we're trying to find it out. Um, and we don't know what the extension is yet, although we've give, been given enough information to tell. So the extension is how much longer it gets. So if I take our initial length, sorry, if I take the final length and then minus the initial length, that will give us our answer. So let's go 25.1 centimetres minus 23.2 centimetres. And that's going to give us 1.9 centimetres. But extension is measured in meters and my the number I have so far for extension is in centimeters so I need to convert between the two so I know that if I have 1.9 centimeters well there are 100 centimeters in a meter therefore if I take this answer and divide it by 100 
or 1.9 over 100, then that is going to give us 0 0.0, 0 0.019 meters, which is the number we can put up there. So 60 times 0 0.019, just put it into my calculator, and I find that the answer is 1.1. For newtons and that there is the weight of the lead ball. You could then as another step cal calculate the mass of the lead ball if you knew where this experiment was being conducted on. We can probably assume it's conducted on earth so the mass of the lead ball is probably going to be about 0.114 kilograms. Well I hope this has been helpful. Um, See you in the next video. Bye.